Hello, hello, Amiibro, Collector, and all the other names we got. If you're watching this video, then you're curious about Amiibos. And you're probably looking for a review or something to determine, determine if you want to get into it. Don't stay away. <laughs> As you can see, my collection was not easy to obtain. Luckily, I was able to get that mark right there. And the villager, which is awesomely painted by me. Lucario was hard to find, thanks to trade, and also was Rosalina. But that's not where I'm here. I'm here because I got something awesome in the mail today. And that is this guy. There he is, right there. Ike. Now, the Fire Emblem Amiibos are some of the hardest to find because there's not many, I guess, merchandise for Fire Emblem. And a lot of people tend to like these characters in the Smash. Now, I was able to get this guy pretty cheap. But I had to import them from France. Yes, right. All the way from the EU. Because that's where the region is. You can see the bottom. And then for reference, this is American bottom. They don't have as much paper or writing. They also tend to have instructions inside. But anyway, um, I got them in the mail, a little broken right here. But luckily I'm not an inbox collector, so I'm just going to open this little guy. And uh, you're going to be with me to inspect them, see all the details. Alright, here I go. Uh, get them open. These tend to be super easy to open. There we go. There we go. And it comes with a little instruction booklet, which does not come in the American version, for whatever reason. It's all centered. Uh, let's see. Look at all those languages. They have English, Dutch, French, Netherlands, Spanish, Portuguese, Italian, and some other ones I don't under recognize. All right, <clears throat> here's the figure. I love these little backings. All, of, all these new figures come with these interesting backings. Here's that pesky metal thing that keeps us from scanning them in box. Uh, let me see if I can... It's just a piece of tin foil, I believe. Or something close to that. Oh my god. How do you get these off? I've seen people do them like... There we go. See, let's get a closer look at this guy. It's just foil. Just foil with tape or whatever. And that's keeping us from scanning them, keeping them in the box. But, alright. Here he is. Hmm. Let's see. We got the uh, focus. Come on. Focus. Focus. You gonna focus for me? Hold on. Let me get these out of the way. Maybe that's what they're focusing on. Alright, let's try this again. Hold on. Hmm, not focusing for me, apparently. Whatever. Let's see. Maybe... No? Whatever. Okay, so... First of all, we got this cape that's similar to that's the backing we got on the Marth. Now, I'm not, I've never played a Fire Emblem besides Awakening, so I'm not really sure what these mean. But I'm guessing some more hardcore Fire Emblem players know. And then that is one bent sword. Let's see, Marth. Pretty straight compared to that. <laughs> It's like Marth needs to go to a blacksmith. And it's kind of a flimsy plastic for the sword. Alright. We got headband. And we got it. What looks like a piece of chalk or something holding up the sword in the back. This is really nice, actually. Got the big old shoulder pad for one arm. 
I don't know why you wouldn't just have a suit of armor. You got a weirdo leg strap for no reason. Just to look cool, I guess. Got some straps all over. You got one, two, three. Three belt buckles? Jesus, man. How many do you need? Got the cape. Again. These boots are really cool. Got the shin guards. Penny. Let's check under the cape. I haven't even paid attention if I'm actually in frame. Yeah, I am. Um, God, this paint job on the sword is kind of crappy. It looks... Is that supposed to... Is that how it's supposed to look? Or it just looks weird. Like someone wrapped it in gold tinfoil. That's weird, but alright. Yeah, it's the Ike Amiibo. Okay, and... Also, I'm going to do a special one that I've been saving. Captain Falcon. That's right, the captain himself. Okay, again. Man, these packaging suck. <laughs> man. I know some people really love them in box, and they'd really hate to see this. So, creased. This is an American. Bird, this is a GameStop. And I was smart enough to. But that was a simpler time. A time when you could just walk into a GameStop and pay five bucks and have yours ready to go. Now, they're all gone. You have to wait till four in the morning to get your Amiibo pre-orders. And they're gone in seconds. Sometimes you gotta go out of, you gotta go check out the Amazons in different countries nowadays. I remember when Day one, walk into a store. You walk in the store and you get your amiibo you want. It was all of them. They had villagers, we fits, and Mars like like crazy. Oh, those are simpler times. Those are naive days when we didn't know what was happening. All right, let's check this guy out now. Got a. Looks like his shoe's melting into the stand a little. Right there. It's kind of like popping out. He's got a gun that he never uses. At least not in the game. That'd be cool. So a falcon punch his falcon pop a cap. Got this weird clear plastic thing, whatever this is. Keeping him up. <clears throat> right in his thigh. In the right in the right direction, it looks like he's pooping it out. And you got them little oh my god, it looks like nipples right there. God. <laughs> you got this cool, cool scarf. You got this cool design in the back. Man, oh wrong. This cool design which you probably can't see because this camera or whatever is not zooming in. Or not zooming in. Um God. Focusing. Mm. I don't know how to get this thing to focus. Got the gloves. Which are nice. Got the cool helmet. These are really nicely detailed. Probably can't see. Got another. God, these guys really love their uh, their one shoulder pads, huh? Never understood that. Why is there always one shoulder pad? Doing a looks like a falcon kick almost. A little. There's his foot. He got his boot nice and detailed too. Whoever did this, I have no idea because this doesn't look like it could be factory painted. I don't know how they do this. By a production line in China somewhere. Whole bunch of people painting little little paintbrushes. <laughs> using paintbrushes and getting all the detail. He got, God, he got his belt. Got the holster. And they got everything in this thing. This is, these are some really nice figures. All right. So I think that's it so far. So I got uh, Captain Falcon, Ike. 
And those came, this guy came in the mail, this guy picked up. Had him for a while now. But now I don't have to hunt for him. <laughs> oh well. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the review.